Hi, my name is Nick Mitchell and welcome to this Unreal tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the Unreal Unity emulator. You can see the Unreal Unity emulator. All of the information about this is going to be on the developer.unreal.ai portal. A bunch of stuff in here. And instead of going through all of this here, let's pop open Unity and I'll show it to you right in the editor. So first things first, you're going to need to have your Unity scene. I have my current scene that I made in the last tutorial. If you don't know how to in add the Unreal SDK, check out that tutorial. So you should have your Unreal SDK, maybe some other assets. I got my fish assets from the first tutorial. And here I've just opened our Unreal demo scene, Hello MR. So we can see in this scene, we got a logo in the middle, not much else, but I'm going to show you what happens to activate the emulator. You actually don't have to do anything. So long as you have your Unreal camera rig in your scene, along with your Unreal input, your emulator is going to be activated. And just to point down here, I've added a key logger so you can see the buttons I'm pressing. A for left, D is right, W is going to be straight ahead. And I can move like this, forwards, backwards, left and right. If I hold down space, then I can rotate the camera. So when space held down, I can rotate, let go of space. Then again, I'm moving around, hold down space, rotate over here. And there's a couple other things we can do with the emulator. I'm going to pop into our controller info, another scene here that will kind of illustrate this. Other emulator features isn't just your camera rig, but it also emulates your controller, your input device, your phone, or maybe it's the small Bluetooth puck. So we can see here, these are all of our uh, variables that are controlled by input. When I click down, you see here, trigger button becomes true. While click down, trigger button is true. If I right click, that is my home button. And you can see down here, right click is what I did. And on the emulator, you can see it accesses home. Oh, I do not want to go home. So now holding shift, I can now select my input device and moving around my mouse, I can control where that is. So I'm going to go to no, I do not want to quit. Ah, yes, the touchpad. So up, down, left and right. You can see here, down, up, left, right, up, down, up, down, up, down. All of these things I control with my computer keypad, which allows me to directly control the input of my input device. Next, we're going to see a little bit more of everything that's possible. We're going to go to our interactions. So here I move around again with my scene, WASD, hold space to rotate my camera, which is emulating the rotation of my head. Hold shift now to rotate the input device. So this would be like your hand holding it, kind of looking around in 3 off. And then with my clicks, activate true or false. You can see here this flashes, which shows that it's registering a press. Up here, this is the Raycast, which you can see. Even though I haven't run my app, I haven't built it or anything, I can still test my Raycast. I can test my interactions, all kinds of things that I can do directly inside of the emulator. Though, a question, what if we have more of an advanced scene and we don't just want to test head movement or controls, we actually want to be testing something that involves the real scene, like the real, real life scene, not just your Unity scene. That's super important in and real with any AR because it's augmented reality. Reality is the key word there. So Unreal actually has a specific scene that they've made. You can see it here. 
which allows you kind of to visualize a real life scene. So here is a simple room with a table and uh, my space there. And what this is going to do, for here on the table I have my uh, annual trackable plane. This is specifically for the emulator. So you can put that up somewhere and that will behave as a trackable plane. And in this scene I have a trackable found test, which is just going to put my cube from over there down here once I've seen it. So again, we're looking around on the right. This is the emulator. You can see it's tracked the space and the cube has appeared. If I look over here, now I'm no longer looking at it. It's lost tracking of that plane. And when it detects it, then we see we have the cube up here. And this isn't generally going to be a cube, whatever in your scene is. If it's your little gremlins or piece of art or whatever your scene is, you'll be able to visualize it in this kind of emulator space and then once you build it to your headset and try it on a real table or a real floor it's going to behave as it did in the emulator which is awesome for testing things quickly reiterating a small thing of I want to just see kind of the size of that or the animation when it appears instead of having to do a complete build every time install on the headset run through the headset you just Press play and you pop right into the emulator and you can do it there. Last thing I want to show today, same space here, my emulator testing space. And this one is my trackable image emulator. So again here we have our cube and a cube here, which is the thing that's going to be uh, detected that's going to appear there. Actually, I want to change this because uh, let's the point of the emulator isn't just to see the features of the Unreal SDK, but actually to test your own project. I'm going to go back to what I was working on from the first tutorial, doing something with dolphins. Let's see. We got a dolphin. Yeah, there's my dolphin over there. Okay. I'm going to add the dolphin to my space, put it around where my cube is. Uh, but I want it to be a little bit high floating in the air and let's make it a nice big dolphin and my cube I'm not gonna need my cube so I'm just gonna disable it alright so I've added my object uh, that's it's hopefully gonna come up and track let's see if the emulator is working or the emulator is always working I should say let's see if my project is working is it going to happen when I scan this object? Object Is my dolphin going to appear in the Unreal Light headset? And I know that it will appear because it appeared just like this in the emulator. And you can see when it's off screen, we can see left in the scene view. And this is when it comes into detection and it pops right up. So this is awesome. I can do all kinds of testing right here in the emulator without needing to build. Let's test its shadows, let's test um, its animation. All kinds of things can be done right here quickly and easily. Okay, I'm just gonna make that full screen. Take a look at my dolphin scene and all of its glory. But you can see here, the emulator allows you to save time, iterate quickly, and really see what your project's gonna look like in half a second, just to give you that extra time to spend on development. So thank you. That's all for this tutorial. If you have any questions, please join us on our Slack community, unreal-devs.slack.com. Follow us on Reddit, a lot of good stuff going on, and follow at Unreal on Twitter to stay up to date on any Unreal news. I've been Nick Mitchell, and this has been your tutorial to the Unreal Unity emulator. Develop and enjoy the world you've always imagined. See you next time.